Deliver room, deliver room, da da, deliver room, deliver room, deliver room, da da, deliver room, deliver room, deliver room. room. Shenanigans already are beginning here in the living room. It is Monday, October the fifth, two thousand and fifteen, in season the new season of the living room. I'm sorry, the boss in the living room, and we're back. I am your main man, Mr. Starving Artist. Mr. Starving Artist, hey, 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 (laughs) and it's your boy Jay Allen. And missing again is Buddy. You know what? It's so much better season fall without (laughs) Buddy because Buddy always makes things. I miss Buddy, but he'll be here next week for sure. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, But in his place, we have a special guest all the way from ATL. ATL, 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 ATL. Oh my god, we've that- known each other for like long time, like from our college years. Yeah. AUC? Yay! Yeah. HQ, we had our homecoming this weekend. Oh, I didn't go though. Yeah, because he dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> Class of 2001. Get it, get it, get it. I'm All right. Still young. Well, we got a lot to talk about, so we're going to get this party started, and we're so happy to have you, but we're going to start with. Empire! Empire. Empire, yes, that happened. Yes, Wednesday's on Fox. So, you know, Cookie is off to start her own company. So she can't get half her company back. She wants her own company. She wants her (laughs) whole company. Yes, she wants wants her own company. And she, you know, she decides that she's going to name it Dynasty, which is a kind of a nod because uh, Lee Daniels is a really big Dynasty fan. And a lot of his, uh, the Cookie and Anika scenes are kind of really... Uh, Alexis and Crystal. Right. Yes, yeah, I remember that jump. Which I like it. And I hope they just call it Dynasty and not Lion, Lion Dynasty. Dynasty. Cause that is crazy. 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 Well no, <laughs> it needs to be Lion Dynasty to actually tie it to something. Well it's not called Lion Empire. Well because it's tied to Empire though. It, <laughs> Dynasty is But I mean but just like she said, like Empire was nothing, so she's gonna make Dynasty something. You don't want to if you're trying to separate yourself from Name Empire. Recognition. No, but if you're Name trying to separate, no, if you're trying to separate yourself from something, you don't name it the same thing. Well, as they, it. well, their last name is Lion. You can't. That's their last name. No, ain't it? That's that's not. That's, that's all four of them people's last name, ain't it? You know, and so Andre basically three thousand. He it doesn't fit in Dynasty, and he really misses Empire because he wants to go back, and he still thinks that Empire should be his. And so he wants to leave. Uh, has this dramatic scene with Cookie, like, let me go. And they all started crying. I'm like, oh. don't leave my drag. So, you know, what I'm excited about season two of Empire is that Cookie is actually remembering that she has two other children, which are Andre and Hakeem. Because the whole first season was about Jamal and his coming out arc and all that and I was trying to connect with Hakeem. Hakeem wasn't having it with her. Well he didn't know her. Right. So well, you know if, if so he was trying to get to know you though. I don't know, yeah, I don't know you. You've been in jail since I was eighteen months. So if you <laughs> had if you had a parent that was in jail for a long time. Okay. And they come back Your whole your entire life, life. Your whole entire life. Whole entire life. They come back and they try to reconnect with you. How would you feel about that? I would definitely, I would like it. Yeah, you right. would like it, but... to know their parents. Right, but, uh, right, 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 but how would you embrace it? Would you be like, okay, yay, mom, the blessed days are back. Would you be like, would you take your time? No, but he was being mad, disrespectful. He didn't want nothing to do with her. That's rude. First of all, she was in jail. She was in. She, she was in jail for drug dealing. No, she was in jail because she covered for Lucius. Basically. But still, she was in jail for drug dealing. It's not like she was in jail for protecting but him was she, from was drowning. But she selling drugs to help the family. To help yeah, the family. basically, she was. Oh. Yeah. Sure, ultimately, yeah, ultimately, yeah, ultimately, yeah, ultimately, yeah, ultimately, right, right, yeah, right. ultimately. Yeah, and so you know, he wants to go. So Rhonda, his wife, goes and meets with Jamal and basically tries to. Let him know that. And what's going on? They've like decreased Rhonda's role significantly. This well, she really episode. wasn't. She wasn't really a main character anyway. She was. Just but she was. A, but she was the puppet master, and we're not even seeing her doing the puppet master anymore. Well, because we don't see much of Andre right now either, though. And she's so already much. puppet mastering because she went to see Jamal behind his back. So she's already setting her plan in motion. That and like you said, it's only second episode, but she setting her plan in motion because she tells Jamal basically that she's pregnant and that Andre really wants to come back to Empire. 
And so she's asking him that. Stop. <laughs> yes. And so, you know, meanwhile, also, Andre also goes to see Lucius, who's in the pen. And basically... <laughs> in, in the pen. Right. The pen. Yes, the pen. The the <laughs> That's real gangster. I'm in the pen. He's in the pen. <laughs> so basically, uh, and basically apologizes for turning on him and leaving and wants to come back to the company. And Lucius basically was like, no, I'll never forgive you ever. <clears throat> I, that's not what he said. He did. He was like, I'm not going to forgive you. What did he no, say? He didn't say, I'm never going to forgive you for this. He, Andre didn't ask for forgiveness. He, he said, he he said, said can I come back to work with the company? He said, I'm sorry, and, I, yeah. and I'm forgiven. That's why he went back. He was like, you know, you've forgiven Jamal for living this lifestyle. Hakeem is sleeping with your ex fiance. yada, yada, yada. And we'll ask for forgiveness. Look, I don't remember that scene. Well. But I'm just saying, <laughs> basically, what's he need to be forgiven for? What did he do? Because he turned on him and went with Cookie and them to help do the hospital takeover. After Lucius said, got him out of the company last year. Yeah, but still, in Lucius' eyes, he still turned on him. So Keep on taking medication, um, Andre. That's all I'm saying. Because your, your daddy did you wrong to begin with. So. <laughs> and so we're going to get a little uh, flashback with Miss Kelly Rowland. Um, as Lucius's mother, she had her thirty seconds like she did in Destiny's Child, <laughs> and so like she did in uh, so what's, what's the movie the we deep, saw with Kelly. Zara and uh, Kelly Rowland, um, uh, Freddy versus Jason. Oh yeah, <laughs> these butter knives. <laughs> butter knives. Right? She remember when she got killed by Jason? I know. That's good stuff. Keep, keep um, on acting, Kelly. One of these days is gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Oh, she got that show coming on BET in the spring. So nah. she and is. she's in a Netflix movie too. What? I don't know the name of it. Netflix, uh, she she was in the seat filler. Oh, yeah, the seat, <laughs> seat filler <laughs> with um with um. They showed that in Atlanta. Atlanta. That was like I remember they were doing the yeah. casting call. But Dwayne that. Martin, yeah, that's who it was. <clears throat> so um, and we find out really one of the reasons that he has a lot of disdain towards uh, Andre is because his mother suffered mental illness, and it's just one of those things where some, it reminds him of his mother and probably the painful memory he had of his mother. So he's just kind of like. It, it, he's a little distant from him, mm -hmm. and which is kind of understanding, but kind of like this is your child, though, you know. So. <laughs> no. I so you know, so I can't like defend Lucius anymore. I'm I'm over the character. And you know, so Lucius is in jail, and he's you know rapping, and I don't think he can rap. First of all, I, I, he sounds like Terrence Howard is a very talented individual. He is very. But anything musically, like. He said, you know who he sound like when he was rapping? He sound like uh, Whoopi Goldberg, but she was like, y'all gotta go, I gotta go, so go. And so sad, when she was rapping to the kids. Oh, but Whoopi Goldberg's great, though. <laughs> no, but it just didn't sound like a hard thug, though. No. No, he, like, he doesn't give you thug. Yeah, no. He's, he's, uh, he's very, he's from the Hamptons. He literally is from the Hamptons. Yeah, but his character is not from the Hamptons. Exactly, but I'm saying, but he, well, yeah, but uh, what, Terrence Howell never conveys thug it's to like me. He's so much acting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Uh, what's her, Taraji Henson is from the suburbs of Maryland. Yes. And yes. she's not from the hood neither, but she's able to give you that. So uh, I'm just talking, she no. definitely, had, she no, definitely she hung out with some people. No, from the yeah. hood. Well, true. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, you're right. That, 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 that's fine. Um, yeah, no, I'm not, no, 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 that, that's not what I'm saying, I'm talking about her actual background, she's not from the hardcore streets or wherever, she's from, she got a, a, a you know, she was like, she was like, new, new, and, uh, yeah, yes, she was like, Lauren London, because Lauren London was from that good area, yeah, yeah. but she was always yeah, hanging always around, in the hood. Yes. And, and yeah, so that, that's Taraji, she got, she graduated from, she's got degrees in acting and stuff. Who do, who do that and go be in the hood? I'm like, I'm about to go to school real quick, y'all, then we'll come back to the hood. To Raj. Okay, to Raj and, him. Him. <laughs> and so, you know, he's trying to make this music, and we also get uh, Luda pops up, too, on these millions of guest stars that we get, so we see Luda. So here's the deal. I know that I originally criticized Empire for all of the impending guest stars they were going to have this season, and I like the way they're integrating them. They're there for, like, periodic episode like Kelly Rowland playing the mother was good. She was there until she was gone. Don't got to even worry about her again. Luda playing the cop for about, you know, a couple of minutes was okay. Yeah. As long as it wasn't like overbearing and right. so far so good. Yeah, they're like mini endorsements. Like right. Yes, they are. They're the mini endorsements. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like that. 
Yes. And so, you know, Lucius is in jail. We see Ludacris. But one of the things Lucius is having a problem with because he actually goes to the infirmary and he basically cannot get his medicine for his disease. We don't um, remember what it is anymore because he's had like two or three. M- it was not, M- not MS, but MG. I remember it was MG or something like that. I don't know what it was. He used to have ALS. It's, it's kind of like yeah, ALS, yeah. but yeah. it's not. And so basically, uh, Tyra Farrell character is basically like blackmailing him by not giving him the medicine. Her name is Roxanne. And basically... Um, Where they do that at, though? Uh, all the time. No, you can't blackmail... Because medication is, is not something that... It's not a, it's not a right. It's what you're, you, you get as a... Do you person. know how often stuff like that happens in real life? Yeah. Not about how often it happens in the yes. real life, I mean, but it's, it's a, the prosecutor, the federal prosecutor. Guess what Lucius would do right there and go with them right there and there. But he doesn't. Reporter. But he doesn't know that that's what it is. The 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 guy basically is we get the, how we, much that happens in real life. Bro, please, sir. Oh, I know. I mean, but I mean, Lucius line is already going to send thugs out to go beat up the police officers but, and but stuff it wasn't, like that. Okay, so then... So he's not going to go get so, this lady from getting the medication? But it wasn't Lucius. So this is one of the things that we have to, to also talk about. So while uh, Lucius is in jail, he meets a new lawyer that um, he decides that he's going to have him to represent. And his lawyer actually starts to set all these things in motion. One of them is he uh, Lucius wants to record a single while he's in the jail. So he gets him all this equipment so that he can record. And basically, so he records this song, and Petey Pablo is another special guest <laughs> that's like in the cell with him, yeah. right? <laughs> Shut up! So he rides the snitch bitch is the name of the song. So it's like snitch bitch, snitching ass bitch. So it was just, it was like the song. So it was like everybody like social media went off uh, as soon as that song came on, and people are just like, I'm gonna go into work to school tomorrow, talk about telling the teacher what she called you, <laughs> be singing that snitch. Right. Yes, and so that is just the new track, and Petey Pablo actually wrote that track as well too. And he, oh, too bad. No, he did it as a favor because <laughs> oh, um, a few years ago, you know, they did a movie back a long time ago, and then at Howard Homecoming, uh, Terrence had lost his wallet, so Petey Pablo had gave him like two hundred dollars of cash, and you know, one day, uh, the years down the road, Terrence was like, "Oh, I need to pay you back that money," and you know. That's how he ended up getting on Empire as a repayment for the money he loaned. I mean, that's nice and all, but Peter Pablo didn't have access to go and get some more money than two hundred dollars. I'm just saying. I mean, no, that, that's, that's real no, nice of Terrence. They just bro. ran into each other. But it's I'm like, just saying, um, it's, it's about, it's about like we're out and about. We because wasn't Peter Pablo like, no. signed at the time? But listen, if we're out and about, if, if, if I run into you, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 it's one thing if we run into each other. No, but listen, if I run into you and we're like at homecoming, we're like, oh my god. You man, he's like, I'm good, but I cannot believe that I lost my wallet. I'm like, oh girl, I'm like, you got two hundred. That's all I got. And, you know, you like, thank you so much. I got you. If you were to do that, that would be so generous. I, but if Terrence Howard to give it to Petey Pablo, no, like, Petey Pablo gave it to Terrence Howard. It's just for the day. It's just for the until you can find it. It's for the moment. Well, no, no, apparently he didn't get it back for years. You say he's somebody get it back. Oh, he paid you back that money. Yeah, but I mean, it was, I, mean right. I mean, and again, it's like you never give, you should never give money to someone that you don't think you're gonna get yeah, back. Sure, okay? Agreed. right. So it's not like oh, here you go, two hundred dollars, but I gotta pay my light bill. No, 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 <laughs> no, and, and no, and and I, I guess it's less about uh, whoever gave the money to whom. It's like that I couldn't get access to oh go get some God. more money. Uh, yes. No. I'm, I mean, I'm just. What are you talking about? He thinks that Terrence, you think Terrence Howard didn't have the ability to go to <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why did he have more money to get to But it's your Howard homecoming, though. You're having fun. You're like, having fun. Right. Howard homecoming don't cost nothing. Are you kidding me? He's on the yard. It's free. Yeah. The game is not free. The yard it's fest good. is not free. The yard is free. The yard is free. free. No, it's not. It's Since love, when? Uh, when the last time you've been to homecoming drop out? No drop out. Class 2001, look me up. It's on, it's on the web. <laughs> Check it out. It's Von Lee Jackson. Communications class of 01. But yeah, the, that's not no cost. I'm, I'm just saying, ultimately, Terrence Howard is a man that got banged. So him getting money from P.D. Pablo was like, oh my God. Mm. But yeah, that was nice of P.D. Pablo. So anyway, Ludacris comes out and fa- finds out that he's doing this and has this material. So he takes it away because we find out he's secretly working for Roxanne, Tyra Farrell, and uh, takes it away. So the new lawyer that... Um, 
Lucius has basically hired that got him the equipment finds out about this. <laughs> So he finds out about this and basically goes out and sends these goons after Ludacris to beat him up and get the get it back. So that's why they got beat up. It wasn't in Lucius's power. It was his this new lawyer. That's probably going to end up being more trouble to Lucius than what he's worth. So, um, you know, they have a court date for Lucius's hearing and his bond hearing. And so basically... Um, you know, the lawyer's late, but he comes in and blackmails the judge. Basically, he has these pictures of this judge doing this kinky stuff, and the judge basically approves <laughs> uh, Lucius's uh, bond to be out. So now Lucius is out for the time being. Do you think that really happens in real life? Blackmailing a judge? Uh, uh, apparently, it always happens in movies. Like, you know, right when the, <laughs> the bad guy's ready to go down, they'll be like, well, I have this with you. And it's always like the judge in like some leather strap on somewhere, right. like hanging uh, from the walls. I mean, like, I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's a good question. I mean, I would think that a judge would have way more connection so that if somebody came to him, you'd be like, oh, you're using your resources, I'm about to use my exactly. resources. And then to get that and taken that care of. Work, right. right, but you know, I mean. Well, but in this one, they like, he like put the pictures right in during the whole, uh, what, I don't <laughs> even know what, what this was, <laughs> trial, trial. Man, whatever it, it was. It was for, to, yeah. because when you get arrested, you know, you it have wasn't to have a bond hearing. hearing. I don't know it what It was a bond was. hearing. It was a bond it hearing? It was a bond hearing. He's, he's been in jail for months. But that's, you don't get your bond hearing all the time immediately. Sometimes you have to, it'd be months before sure. you get your bond hearing. <laughs> uh, so that was Empire. So, you know, it's starting to set things in motion. So we'll, we'll see, right? We'll see. All right. We'll see. <laughs> Moving we'll see. on to Moving on to How to Get, get away, away With, with murder. murder. ABC, 10 p.m. on Wednesday. Yeah, it's just, yeah. So... You know, one of the big mysteries surrounding... Oh, why is he leading everything off this week? I'm going to let him keep on going, but, like, he's like... Uh, yeah, he's leading off everything. Like, he really is the host of the living room. I'm going to let you go on them channels. Well, y'all have been watching this show for now 26 episodes. But, you know, every every once in a while, I, I like guys, lead off a show. Guys, I mean, that's my homie, my ace. Guys, guys. <laughs> Thank you. We need the voice of reason here, because she, she yeah. understands how I am being bullied by this <laughs> artist. You are a bully. You are a bully from the 90s. Oh, me and um, Kenya Moore. Yes. <laughs> well, go ahead. Would you like to go ahead and tease this? Go ahead. You already have it all ready to go. All right. So. Well, very good. <laughs> <laughs> but so... Um, one of the big mysteries surrounding Rebecca's disappearance is that she texts this mysterious character named X911. No, she X and she texts him 911. And so the black girl, what's her name? I don't know. I know. We don't know her name. The black girl, <laughs> she basically has been responding to him because she's just curious about who this person is. And he has responded back to her, but she's just been too nervous to respond back to him. So he's like, hello, are you there? And so she hasn't responded. Um, meanwhile... Um, <laughs> this is her right there, though. Oh, it is her, yes. We'll find out her name. We're going to find out her name. Her real name is um, Asia. 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 Mm -hmm. It is Asia, because she's on the real. Yes. Yes, Asia. Yes. <laughs> Go pick up a new copy of The Essence. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, meanwhile, after the court one day, uh, the black girl gets approached by this guy <laughs> who is basically thinks she's cute and wants right. to hit on her. And, you know, she just recently... I had an engagement broken off, and so she's a little hesitant to get back out in the dating world, so she kind of turns him down, and the gay dude is basically like, you know, go, he's trying to talk to you, he's like, all you have to do is sit on him. But remember, no, like, no, like, no, but remember the last episode, though, she was hitting on another gay dude at the bar, she's oh, right. like, so I don't know if she's not ready or not, she's still just trying <laughs> she's to figure out what she's about like, to do. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, but that's a very interesting question, though. Like, when after a breakup do you get back in the dating world? How when do you think you should get back after a breakup? I think it depends on the individual. And it depends on how long you were in the relationship too. Okay. So if you're in a longer term relationship, what do you think? What's long? Like five plus years. Uh -huh. I, I mean you're not gonna wait five years, I would hope not. But I mean I would say about a year. I've always Sounds heard like Someone's always told me that it takes half of the time that you're in a relationship to before you're over. able to move on. So, like, what do you think? If you're in it five years, and it'll take you two and a half. That's a long time. That's but, a very long time. I believe it, though. Yeah, I believe it, too. I mean, I, I think that, you know, it, guess it also depends on the relationship. Like, with 
the instance of this character right here, she was engaged. So apparently there was an investment in that situation. If you were, say, dating someone for a year uh, casually, then I don't think that you should wait six months before you talk. Well, I mean, casually else. is one thing. We're talking about serious relationship, like being in a serious relationship. Like Definitely more than a year, five years. Yeah. Serious. I, well, I, I, I think, dating, but... I mean, it... I don't think like you can like in a relationship and then next week be like, hey, no, yeah, meet no, you. no, no, and then no. like let's jump into it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it takes time. I think it takes time, but it also depends on the individual and situation because I mean, for uh, I think that I know that for me, I've never been in a five year relationship, but I know that to wait two and a half years for anything is a long time because time ain't forever. So what's the time longest relationship forever. you've ever had? Time ain't forever. Uh, long stretch I was at was two and a half years. Okay, and then and it's not long. <laughs> not long. <laughs> it's not long. And you know what's funny? Like we were ready to get married, uh, and we were ready to go buy a house. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Shout out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this Whoa. is getting steamy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This is steamy. Yes. Out. But I mean, yeah, I definitely didn't wait. Uh, and then how long did it before you started dating again? It was a little while because the relationship had its traumatic moments. But um, it was it, a little while. But it, it it wasn't definitely wasn't a year. Oh, so you. But you were you over it. him? Dating is one thing, but were you over? <laughs> yeah, no, damn, yeah, you stood me in right there. That, that situation oh, actually. Yeah. Was it that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> welcome to the living room, Danielle. Um, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Are you? Am I now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Long ago. That was 2000. <clears throat> Very good. Well, um, what else happened? Um, so we get a little bit more of what's happening with um, the Scooby Doo gang. The Scooby Doo gang. So we <laughs> find out last week that Viola's been like basically shot up, and we, last week we only knew that it was just Wes, and now we find out that the whole Scooby Doo gang was there, and not only was she there, but the prosecutor is downstairs on the floor, dead to the bed. So we don't know what is going on. Is that Here. a new saying, dead to the bed? <laughs> I think I stole there from Funky Dineva because she is funny. Do you want to? No. But, uh. Yes, Daniel, come back anytime. Fresh. <laughs> anyway, so now this whole um, mystery is unraveling because you know not only has uh, Viola been shot, the prosecutor been shot, all the kids were there. So now we got to start to figure out what is go what happened. So we'll we'll keep you posted. <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll, keep you posted. we'll keep you posted. We'll keep you posted. It's gonna be on. We'll keep you posted on the six o'clock news. I mean, seriously. Okay. Good. Moving right along. Moving right along, and I agree. Let's move right along from that. Mary to Madison. That was the best transition that he's yeah. ever done. All right. Well, yes, good. Tell us about Mary good. to Madison. Mary to Madison. So this is a. Uh, don't try me. This is uh, the second part and the actual finale of the reunions that have been going on since last week. And uh, Mariah brings her tail out there and starts to try to stir the pot. But you know what? The ladies aren't really feeling it too much. They don't really do too much for her. She just kind of has to like, cry her tears. And, and, and please, don't get, get us wrong. We're all very sensitive to the fact that Mariah has lost two children and, and the heartaches that she's faced over the past uh, season that she wasn't actually on the show. Um, but I guess she wanted, she wants a lot of penance from the rest of the cast and they're just not giving it to her. What do you have to say about that? Right, because basically Kwa was like, what do you want? My head on a, <laughs> on a platter. Head, platter. And, and, and like, they, where, where are they bringing out these props from? <laughs> I know, I thought that was like, whack. Cause I was like, that, scrapped it. Scrapped it, right. yeah. And I was like, a yeah. Prop, she yeah. had a real platter for her. I mean, it's just, it's just a big mess because Mariah basically is like saying that, you know, first of all, she's saying that Quad is the author of confusion and that she's doing all this and that things are, that Quad is the center of everything, which I don't necessarily think that Quad is the author of confusion and that she was behind getting Mariah kicked out. And Dr. Jackie was basically like, no, you got kicked out because everybody had an issue with her. It wasn't just the you and Quad situation. You had an issue with everybody. 
So that's what. What I was Jackie and uh, Mariah's issue, though? Um, you know, Jackie even said that sometimes she would find it really uncomfortable for her to relate to her and different things like well, that. Well, Jackie's well. hard to relate to. I don't think so at all. I think. <clears throat> I mean, I think it depends on the person that you are. I, I probably would be able, I probably would be, and this probably speaks to my personality, but I'll probably be friends with everybody else on that show but Jackie. Because Jackie doesn't really have that turn up. And everybody else <laughs> has a little bit of turn up going on them. Even Boy and Lisa Nicole can get turned up a little but bit. Everybody don't need to turn up. This is too much. You need somebody to balance you out, right? Hey. Everybody can't be like, yeah, yeah. Throw water face. No, no, don't, don't, don't ever throw water in nobody's face. I'm not. That, that's, that's like, that's lines for. Or wine. Or wine. Or wine or nothing. Don't nothing. throw nothing. No, don't throw nothing at nobody. nobody. Not, not when you're grown. Right. Not when you're and grown. so Mariah, like you said, she's, she's a little upset that people didn't reach out to her, um, because of this miscarriage, and said that people didn't reach out to her. And some of the ladies were like, "Well, we left on bad terms, so we didn't really know, like." if we should reach out to you. And us, some people were like, well, that's a really hard thing for someone to go through. And a lot of times, you know, some people usually like to deal with it and then reach out when right. they're ready to reach out. So that's a really interesting question. When you go through like a traumatic event, whether it's a death in your family or a loss of some kind. Or a breakup. A breakup, breakup or something like that. How do you hold... Really? A breakup? It can be traumatic. It can be. Two and, and a half years. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, crazy, right. What else? Oh, two and a half two years. Two and a half years. <laughs> um, mm. And so how do you, um, how do you want people to hope that people would respond to you when you experience some kind of loss? Do you want people to reach out or not to reach out, let you deal with it? What do you, what do you think? I definitely do not want them to completely ignore the situation. Yeah. What about you? It's I think it's it's a fine line because sure I don't I don't want the situation ignored I, I I have to acknowledge that it happened for myself so I mean I guess I want people to also be aware of it but I don't necessarily want um, a swarm of people exactly. around me um, you know saying oh my God we're so sorry right. I, I, I don't know that would make me feel better um, y'all think. better call me. Terrence book me, Facebook message me, sex message me, Facebook wall me, internet me, but calls and messages to make sure that I'm okay, to express your condolences and your sorries, because if you do not, I will be feeling like Mariah, and I will be... You will be cut off. Right, you will be cut <laughs> off, okay? <laughs> Yes, so you, I want somebody to reach out to me because when I feel like if I experience some kind of loss and you don't reach out to me, then I really question your friendship. Right. Like, Cindy, what kind of person are you Cindy, if you, you know don't what? reach you out can, to me? You can, I mean, I was fine. Like, I, I'd be fine with somebody sending me a text. I'd be fine with somebody sending me a note. I don't need you to call me. I don't need you to come over there and rub my hands and my shoulders. I, I don't know that I would need that. Um, I think it would it would make me live in a situation. But you want somebody to reach to out to you. I, I mean, like like we were saying, I want you to I need it to be acknowledged that this right. certain thing happened, but I don't necessarily need it to be. I don't need to. I don't need to live in it. If I, if I have to do it by myself, I don't need for you to be there with me. Like I'm so sorry, and this is awful, and you're gonna do. It. I don't. I don't want that. Right. I, I, I want to. You know, depending on our situation, I want to continue to move on with my life. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of loss, uh, one of the things that we, we find out is that Jackie's father, who we had seen this past season, who was dealing with Alzheimer's. Basically, Alzheimer's. That's what I said, Alzheimer's. <laughs> Alzheimer's. No T. <tea. laughs> Take the T out. <laughs> Take the T out. Honey, you're supposed to be on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Take, Take, that, Take that, that T out. out. <laughs> Let's, but, yes, continue. <laughs> Jackie's husband that was dealing with. Oh, Jackie's husband is her father. <laughs> <Our> father. <laughs> My grandfather had that, basically. <laughs> Stop laughing. Oh, my God. What? Oh, boy. And, and so he actually passed away. And so our, my prayers go out to Jackie and her family because um, one of the things that when she... You know, she was just tearing up, really recounting that and talking about that. And one of the things she said that he really, just passed. So we passed on August the seventh. It was it was fairly yeah, it's recent, fairly recent, recent. And they probably did the reunion probably Sometime in August. August. Yeah, right. And yeah. so she said, "I was ready, but I wasn't ready." And so that's like a really powerful statement where it's just like, oh, you know how you know it's coming, right. and you know sometimes you think it's for the best, but then she was like talking about how you know the doctors were basically. You know, reset, trying to resuscitate right. him and different right. things like that. And she, she was, wasn't there. That's she that's what she has there. The, the real. When, when you're not there, I think that's where the bigger. Um, I, when you're not there, I mean, especially when your father passes away. I mean, 
If I, I, well, I mean, I mean, me well, being there is not going to stop it from happening. No, it's, it's not about it happening. It's about the closure. If you get to see the person that you love, you can say something one last time for them before they pass away. There's a sense of closure there. Um, I know that when my, my when my mother's father passed away, she wasn't. All the rest of her siblings were able to get there, but she could. She wasn't able to be there um, with her father. With sorry, with her mother before she passed because she doesn't live in the state where all the rest of her siblings did. So they all had us. They all get to say goodbye to their mother and see them before they before she actually passed. And my mother did not have that closure. So I know that there's a difference between you know being there or not being there. Not to say that you know one is better than the other. Just that there's a difference. So. Yeah. So we'll continue to keep Jackie and her family in our prayers. Um, you know, one of the things, too, that also happened is that, you know, the husbands came. And surprise, surprise, Darren, Lisa Nicole's husband, who's been accused of cheating all season long, did not show up because he was sick. And so I'm glad Andy kind of called BS on that because he was like, yeah, I'd be sick, too, if, uh, you know, I, I had a season like he did. And so... One of the big things that happened this season was that when it, they went to Cheetah, you know Cheetah, right? right? In Atlanta. Yes. yes. And so they, uh, one of the strippers came up to Lisa Nicole and was like, oh, how's Darren? And she's like, what? And she was like, oh, he comes here all the time. You know, this is his favorite spot. And so, you know, that got into a discussion about, like, do you tell your... Do you tell your spouse when you go to the strip club or would you want your boyfriend and husband to tell you when you go to the strip club? What do you think? I definitely would want to know. Yeah. I, mean, I would be, yeah. Before or after? Like, do you want to know before they go or when they come back and be like, oh, I went to a strip club? Say he went spontaneously with friends. Right. Then after yeah. it would work. He doesn't have to call me to make right. sure he can go. Right. Okay. And this is for a husband, too? Yes. Okay. What about you? The same thing. I mean, just as long as it's communicated. I don't, I don't need to know the, the play by play. Just, just communicate it with me. It would depend on what strip club you go into. Because some of them be real seedy and some seedy activities be going in. So I'd be like, mm, nope, not that yeah, one. I'm going to have a list of strip clubs that, you, that are approved. <laughs> a list that are not approved. So during this show, uh, Lisa said the reason they put this out because they were strong enough to handle the criticism. And I'm like, girl, your husband cheated on you three times that we know of that he's admitted to. And I've always told him, I was like, if somebody admits to you that they cheated three times, they probably cheated yeah, more, right? right? And so this is that we know of. And they asked her, well, you think he's cheated on you since you've been married? She was like, well, I don't believe so. And so I was just there, thought it was a weird response. Because even the uh, husbands and wives gave her a look like, really? Girl, you need to know, for, know that I know that I know that I know that. Well, you, you don't know that you know that you know about anybody. But listen, I can have a pretty good, like, idea that if I'm, I'm dating someone and I'm like, yeah, more than likely, no. Not, I believe so. Like, you only know what I you know. Really I mean, know. I mean, un unless you're GPS in it, you only know what you know. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have a GPS tracker, buy <laughs> my cell phone <laughs> You, know. you need to answer the phone every time right. I call you. Right. Here, here, I mean, here's my deal about Darren and even Lisa for that matter. I mean, put it this way. I'm not going to come. I don't know if he's contractually obligated by Bravo to be there or not. Maybe yeah, maybe he is. And that's something you got to take up with the producers. But I mean, I'm not going to come to a reunion and be berated and talked about like I have been for the past six months about, uh, you know, they sicking dudes on me. They sicking girls on me. They sicking everything. I mean, they're really coming for me and my relationship and the things that I've done. So I don't know if I would come there and sit there for eight hours. They've been there for forever. Bravo is not coming for you. Your actions are, there's consequences to your actions. I, I, so when I, you're no, out I, there I, doing stuff, no, I wasn't, and I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't saying, I wasn't saying, Bra I wasn't saying that Bravo was coming for him. I'm saying that everything that's going on in this the show is coming for him, meaning all the accusations, the criticisms, all that about his relationships and his marriage. Just do right, people. Just people, if you do right and do what you're supposed to do, then you won't have to worry about it. And you know what? And see, and, and I, I know that the life is a lot more complicated than that. Life is life. is life. You know, doing right is, is easier said than done a lot of the time. So I'm not saying that you go out and you cheat uh, on your not, wife. Not, not so much. It's pretty easy to do right and be right. <laughs> I, guess, I, I, I guess that works if you're a Christian. But I mean, I, for, for other people, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, life is life. And, you know, I'm not saying that I'm not condoning cheating or I'm not condoning, you know, going to strip. I, I mean, that's not wrong with strip clubs. But I'm not condoning any of that. I'm just saying that judge not lest ye be judged. I'm not judging anybody else's relationship. I, I'm not, I'll never put myself in that position. That's all I'm saying. 
Well, you know, this was an interesting season. Uh, that's all the time we have for today, but uh, make sure you head over to Facebook, facebook.com slash the living room show and Last check year. us out. Yes. And Danielle hey. was so much fun to yeah. have you. Oh, did you have fun? I did. Yes, but well, cheers I to did. you. Cheers Thank to ATL. Yeah. Yeah. And Alabama roll time. Roll time. We whooped up on them dogs on Saturday. Did you watch the game? Yes. I, every time Alabama come on, I always think about <laughs> you because from when we was at that Alabama Arbor game. One second. Yeah. Hashtag one second. Yes. We were together. With, uh, who was there with us too that live in your building? Lionel. Lionel! Hey! Lionel! What up? All right, well, we gotta go. See you later. Bye. Stevie Wonder's coming to long concerts. Yeah.